at 7 a.m. on the morning of 31st December 2020, the last day of the year. As many people prepared to bid farewell to one year and welcome another, somewhere at the Tema General Hospital within the Tema Metropolis, a baby was about seeing the last of his biological mother. In motion on that fateful day was a sale of a one-month-old baby boy by an organized baby-selling cartel. The syndicate is made up of several people, including doctors, nurses, and social welfare officers, among others, all of whom are entrusted with the responsibility of providing assistance to mothers and their newly born babies. Their operations had been on the radar of the Medical and Dental Council for a while. And today, the council has teamed up with the officers from Economic and Organized Crime Office, Yoko, to foil one of such illegal transactions. The Connect. Leonard Able, an officer at the head office of the Department of Social Welfare, had already taken 10,000 Ghana cities as a deposit for the baby who he was selling at 28,000 Ghana cities from a woman in need of a baby, not knowing she was an undercover officer with Yoko. The joint news team was embedded in the operation and filmed from a distance as Mr. Able went to collect the baby and accompanied the female undercover officer to a vehicle. This was the point of arrest. <laughs> Leonard Able was arrested and the baby retrieved. On-site interrogations revealed Mr. Able was not alone. His accomplices, a nurse, only identified as Nancy and the head of the social welfare at the hospital, also referred to as Auntie Doris, had heard of the arrest and immediately bolted. What is her name? What is her surname? There's a woman who left in the car, in the taxi. She left in the taxi? Yes. They, they gave money that I should yes, go and, and, and pay and pay the Okay, so, so, so later, what's the evidence that you paid? Oh, you so the woman said that. Which woman? Uh, Nancy said that. She had done adoption before. And she said that she need, she had somebody, uh, she, she has a, a baby, an abandoned baby here. Doris said he had an abandoned baby here. You get me? So I should uh, assist her in uh, 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 the baby is there. Somebody, if they will have somebody. Not even a call from the medical director of the facility could get them to return. Can you come right away to my office? The Nigeria Hospital, director's office. Director's office? Yes. One hour time. The entire morning went by with the arrested suspect pleading for mercy as he sent the team on a wild goose chase from one facility to the other in search of his other accomplices. Yes, but the, the way my name, my, my uh, this thing you are... You are you. I beg you. Help me, help me, I beg you. Yes. Help me. I'm asking. Can you go help me? They give you money. They take your money. They give money that I should go and, and, and pay, and pay the... Okay. The day ended with one arrest as the tax force worked at the leads to effect more arrests. For Joy News, Manuok. The joint team carried out investigations into the illegal activities between the periods of June to November 2020. As a result of these investigations, two medical doctors, two social workers, four nurses, Two mothers and one traditional birth attendant have been arrested so far and are on bail pending further investigations. We currently have in our possession two baby boys who were bought as a result of the operation. The first arrest is the arrest of one Dr. Hope, Mensa Kwashi, 
on Thursday, December 21st, 31st, sorry, 2020, Dr. Hope Mensa Kwashi, who works with the 37 military hospital, the 37 military hospital, was arrested at his private health facility named Susan Clinic, Susan Clinic, located, located at Latabi Okoshi, a suburb of Accra. He was alleged to have sold the first baby boy to the team for an amount of 30,000 Ghana cities in October 2020. And Dr. Mensah Kwashi was arrested with three nurses who worked at his facility. And the nurses are Sylvia Awuse, John Adole Efi, and Angelina Ametepe. They have been identified as his accomplices together with one, Dede Gluti Anipi, a traditional birth attendant at Bethlehem Mat Maternity Home at Santo, a suburb of Pong Katamanso, who was alleged to have referred the mother of the first baby to Susan, Susan Koenig. Madame Dede Gilti Anipi was arrested by our team on January 15, 2021. So apart from Dr. Kwashi, we have also arrested a social welfare officer. And the name of the social welfare officer is Mr. Leonard Agbele. Mr. Leonard Agbele. And on the part of Mr. Leonard, I agree, this is what I have for you. On Thursday, December 21st, on Thursday, December 31st, sorry, 2020, a joint team from the Medical and Dental Council in Yoko arrested Mr. Leonard Agbury at a health facility in Tema. This was after the suspect agreed to help the investigators purchase a new baby boy for a sum of 28,000 Ghana cities. 28,000 Ghana cities. Mr. Agbe led a member of the investigations team to, to, to the general, uh, Tema General Hospital, where the baby was handed over to them by a lady named Nancy Obaya. Nancy Obaya. Further investigations revealed that one doll is Bedu. The social welfare officer at the Termagena Hospital was the brain behind the sale of the baby. The baby was allegedly supplied to Madame Dolls Bedu by one Dr. Noah Kofi Latte. Dr. Noah Kofi Latte for sale. Uh -huh actions are rooted in the mandate we have given and like as i indicated once you have been arrested and you are being investigated for serious offenses of this nature in the public interest in the professional interest and in the interest of society in ensuring that miscreants or criminals do not masquerade as members of the noble honorable or learned profession of medicine we will withhold certain parts of your practices until a court of competent decision determines your fate. If it is negative, it may satisfy, even though you may not have met the criminal requirements, you may actually be subject to professional inquiry through the due process. Or if you have been convicted and sentenced, then you are also liable to disciplinary proceedings. So either way, the council's mandate is fully engaged. And as you can see, we have shown 100% commitment to ensuring that we work together to rid our profession, our healthcare system of all miscreants so that we can continue to comfortably engage the services of these professionals, give our lives to them in the confidence and the trust that they are persons of high integrity.